The retreat for members of the House of Representatives is to update lawmakers on the current realities due to COVID-19. The lawmakers are also here to unveil an updated legislative agenda that had to be reviewed in line with the changes required to help the country through the COVID-19 era. To address other key governance challenges in the country, highlight internal reforms of the House that will aid the achievement of the agenda, provide effective reform coordination between the House and the Senate, and as a platform for multi-stakeholder engagement. With the pandemic, there were all kinds of things. People were not going to their farms. Things were not going through as it ought to be. So National Assembly must come up with laws that will guide us to be able to come up with food security and that ag agriculture will continue to prosper. Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, speaks on the role of the legislature at a time like this, while the Speaker reminds his colleagues of the huge responsibilities before them. A lot would have to be done to re-engineer, to reconstruct our governance system, our health infrastructure, and that can only happen when the legislature is up to the task of making adequate regulations and rules and laws that would help us situate every aspect of our national being in the context of COVID, of post-COVID-19. This is the reality from which the Nigerian people are looking to us for lasting solutions. Are we able to rise to the challenges of our times? I believe that we are. This updated legislative agenda and the implementation plan, which we have tagged our contract with Nigerians, sets out the new priorities of this ninth House of Representatives and commits us to a plan of action over the next year and for the rest of our tenure. The retreat also provides a platform for the lawmakers to discuss possible legislative interventions for the new legislative agenda to save lives and the country's economy. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News. Thank <music> you.